Hi, my name is Noel, currently known as Dank Ocean. I host a show called Junk Food right now, and I'm going to be hosting a show called The Circumstance, and this is what's in my bin. So this first album is Why Not by Marion Brown. Marion Brown is a saxophonist, like jazz composer. I remember just going through the stacks one day and like seeing this album. I never, I never knew about this album, but uh, I played it and I remember just like staying in the room until the whole like disc ended. It was so good. It's like, I was in the room for 20 minutes. I remember that, yeah. And um, the personnel on this is just amazing. So you got Marion Brown on alto sax and then you got Norris Joan on bass, uh, Stanley Cowell, who's my favorite piano jazz artist, uh, who has like a lot of albums off Strata East that I enjoy, and that is still in the stacks too. Uh, and then Rashid Ali, who's another like this like experimental drummer, and he has this really good uh, experimental album. This is probably the most uh, listenable yet uh, free album that you have. I mean, the primary modality of like jazz is is improv, but but this one like. It's just like it's just like perfect because it's like it mixes improv, it mixes like modal jazz, so you still have like stuff that you can catch on and listen to. But um, if you're ever like wanting to get into like a into like the free jazz kind of like realm, I think I like this is a great starting album, and I and I highly recommend it. This next one is KMD Black Bastards. I knew this one coming into the station, but this one is like really interesting because uh, there's this whole story around it, like this literal this literal record. Um, I think one of the cool things you could do in KDBS is like you can tell if it's like if it's an interesting like if there's an interesting story behind it by the, uh, the amount of writing there is on this. So as you can see, there's a lot of writing. There's like people like arguing on the record, but on this like label thing, it says this is a pressing for a demo tape. The record company will not release it. Do not steal, it only hurts KDVS. And it's, it's just really cool because, so th this is a really explicit album. It was, I guess, banned for a bit and there was no way to hear it. Uh, and KDVS was one of the only places that you could uh, hear some tracks off it. So uh, that's like pretty historic because I mean, like the tracks on this is like really like cool. They really need to be heard because it's like conscious hip hop. Um, if you don't know who KMD is, it's like a uh, hip hop collective. It consisted of a really er early MF Doom, who was like Zev, Ze who, who went under the name Zev Love X, and I think it was like he was with his brother or something. Um, I mean, all of these like beats are really cool. They're like really, uh, really jazzy. The song names are so funny. It's like I feel like I can't even say some of these. It's like there's black bitches. It sounded like a rock. Plum skins with your head. What you know? That's oof. I don't know if I. <laughs> yeah. There's really funny comments, you have to read them because I can't say them out loud, so just find them in the station. So this next one is uh, Ross from Friends, Talk To Me, You'll Understand EP. Shout out DJ HIV. Uh, I mean, he's like my good bud at the station and he donated this actually. We, we, we both have a copy of it, but he donated his to KDBS. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep mine, but I mean, I'm just really glad that he put this on because like this whole scene right now, this lo-fi house scene that uh, people like Ross from Friends and DJ Seinfeld is really like, pushing, um, like it's really good and it really deserves a listen because I mean, it's pretty innovative, like all of them. Um, it's kind of like this new, I mean, we have access to everything nowadays and like, I think that like the sound that's coming from lo-fi house is, is, is a consequence of that. This EP, you'll understand, Probably it got me into like house music and lo-fi house and all of, all of those uh, got me really into electronic music. Um, now I would say that like I'm like pretty pretty adequate in in electronic music as in lo-fi, but like this is 100% can get you into it. The song that probably is like the most monumental is is uh, Talk to Me You Understand, which samples like Drew Hill. And it's just like, it's pretty R&B, but it's like very driving and it's very, uh, 
there's something there's something about all of Ross's songs that, that it, it has this very distinct sound to it. So yeah, talk to me and you'll understand. Get into some lo-fi house. So this next one is Baia by Grupo Zambo. Um, it's a Brazilian record that I, again, found at the station when I was looking through the Brazilian. Uh, we don't have much Brazilian, but like, we have some heaters. There's, this one is definitely a heater. Okay, I, I, initially, I never like thought much of the coverage. I thought it was just gonna be like this weird, like folky record, but no, like it's so, it's like probably one of the most beautiful records in this that I've heard. Um, it's off Discos Marcus uh, Piero, which I have a couple records off this label. Um, they release really interesting stuff, like it's just really random stuff. I, I can't read Portuguese because this is from Brazil. This is an original Brazilian pressing. The vocal, the the harmonies in it is beautiful. Uh, the instrumentation, it's very minimal, but it's like it's really good. Um, really good instrumentation. It's very effective. I think my favorite track off this is Dialetto, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's a four minute track, and I remember playing it for my fundraiser show. I just kept on repeating it. I just kept on like playing it in the background of the fundraiser show. A lot of this is like really good, good like background music if you're like, I don't know, praying. <laughs> but, but yeah, group was on me, 100% listen. Alright, uh, this next record is Steve Reich, Music for 18 Musicians. Steve Reich, I probably is my favorite modern com uh, composer. Uh, I think he makes them, some of the most beautiful music I've heard personally. Um, it's very minimal. It starts out very small, like this this idea. It's, it starts off with a small idea, and then it just expands. It expands it with a lot of instrumentation, very open arrangement. But it's very uh, very repetitive, but like in a very beautiful way. As the title says, it's music for 18 musicians. There's 18 musicians on this. Um, they're all like playing just like in <laughs> instruments, like random instruments. There uh, there's a pianist. There's some marimbas. There's uh, four vo four female vocalists. What's interesting about Steve Reich and his music, because we have a lot of Steve Reich and um, not a lot, but like all his really important ones off ECM. Um, what's, it, what's really cool about his music is that as it plays, you start hearing different melodies that were intended to be there. I mean, I think that's what he was driving for when, when he was making this kind of music. It's just like, it's so rhythmic, it's so driving, and it's just like, it gets into your head, um, but it it's like changes very slowly, but like, it's very cool to just drop a needle just go in a random place and you'll just hear like just the most beautiful thing. You drop it and it just like completely, you drop it in a new place and it completely changes. And I think the, co the cover is pretty cool too. I think this is like the score of it. It looks like a, like a really cool textile pattern. But yes, Steve Reich. So this last one uh, has like a very like cool sentimental meaning to me. Um, this is Matching Mole, uh, Smoke Signals. Uh, this is a really interesting album. Um, I'm glad we have a copy of a CD in, in the stacks. I, f I found out about Matching Mole because when I was getting into like music and record collecting and stuff like that, record collectors, they usually like look at what their parents, what their uncles, aunties, and um, what they had in their collection. And I, I live with my grandma, so um, I was looking through her, her record collection. There's a lot of like big band, like there was a, in her collection, there's a lot of big band stuff like Benny Goodman, like there's this thing called the Brass Menagerie. And then I found a, a 45 or a seven inch of a matching mole. It, it was kind of, it caught, caught, caught me off guard because okay, matching mole, that's like definitely not a big band jazz artist, but um, I listened to it. It was, it was a song called Oh Caroline, um, but it's, it was probably one of the most like soothing songs I've ever heard and I was really surprised that my grandma was listening to that like I don't know like I didn't know my grandma was into like that kind of music but um I wish I I wish I could ask her but but now like uh she's kind of like every time I listen to Matching Mole um it kind of gets me in the mood just like reminiscing about uh my grandma but uh but yes this is Smoke Signals um really cool songs on this one. This is probably, there's not a lot of singing on this one. I really recommend the singing parts. Um, the ones with singing, like, check out uh, Sweet Caroline. That's like, it's not on this, but it's, it's really good. But yes, matching mole, smoke signals.
thank you for watching. I mean, those were my those were my picks. They were very like, they're very all over the place. Usually my shows are a bit more concise, but I mean KDBS has like a lot of music, so like every genre is gonna have gems. So um, so I just try I I just try to choose deep cuts from each genre. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, this is what's in my bin. Subscribe to the channel. Keep track with the series. You done know. <laughs> okay.